Hi, good afternoon everyone. My name's Sarah Grinnell and welcome to my first live. A little bit frightening, but here goes. Um, I'm so excited that you're here today because I'm going to share with you how to make yourself more instantly attractive to your prospects. Now I'm going to give you five simple but common sense ways to make you more attractive. It's things that we probably already know, but common sense isn't that common anymore. And a lot of the time we're not practicing what we are all thinking. So if you've ever felt like leads are avoiding you or running away from you and you want to make yourself more attractive, um, Instead of you constantly chasing after them and badgering them to look at your product or your opportunity, then stay tuned. Okay, just while people are tuning into today's live, let me introduce myself. If you don't already know me, I'm Sarah Grinnell. I'm fairly new to this business, but I'm learning from the top earners, six and seven figure professionals. And what I'm learning, I will uh, be educating back to you so that you can learn too so let me know what know where you're coming from and what it is that you would like to learn okay so let's get started how to attract more prospects how would it feel to have more prospects reach out to you what would that be worth to you please respond down below okay how would you like to be more attractive? Now, by attractive, I don't necessarily mean good looking. There are many things that make some people attractive beyond their looks. I'm talking about instant magnetic attraction, something that naturally makes people flock to you and hang on to your every word. The kind of attraction that can work in all aspects of your life, not just in business. So what are they? Okay, number one, be interested. Attractive people are more interested in listening to other people, to the other person, than they are in hearing themselves speak constantly. Have you ever, have you ever dated somebody or been with a person who talked about themselves the whole time? Me, 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 me. What do you think of me? Blah, 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 blah. How self-absorbing are these type of people? Okay, the key factor is don't try to be interesting, be interested. You need to listen to what that person is, is talking about um, instead of listening to yourself. If you're in marketing um, and you use the words I, me and my, more often than you say the words you and your, then you are marketing incorrectly. So for example, let me tell you about my product, my opportunity, why I'm so great. If you're doing it this way, then you're doing it all wrong. Um, you are trying to be interesting instead of listening to what your prospect has to say. Listen to their goals, their problems and their desires and this will make you instantly more attractive. So be interested, not interesting. Okay, number two. Don't act clingy, needy or desperate. Not nice, not nice at all. Um, we all know about needy, clingy people desperate people you know the ones who text you and then three seconds late, later text you again hey why haven't you answered my text okay unfortunately in our line of business there are a lot of these types of people they get so addicted to having one prospect say yes to them that their neediness clinginess and desperation make them very very unattractive nobody likes these these uh, types of people um, in this business, in, in marketing, you have to um, be a take it or leave it kind of person. I'm not saying being flippant or do not care. You, you really do need to care. But you also need to develop um, some detachment. It's about being realistic. You need, you need people for your business. Yes, absolutely. But if somebody says no, 
you don't need that particular person. If they don't join you, there's plenty of more fish in the sea, as, as they say. Um, and the word no isn't going to end your world, is it really? So don't position yourself as needy, clingy or attractive. It's not desperate. Okay, number three, never open with an agenda. Oh, attractive people don't operate with a hidden agenda. You know the types, when they do something nice for you, they're not just doing it to be nice, they want something in return. They give you a, a, they give you a gift, but secretly, sometimes they are hoping that you post it on social media and it's tied to your wonderful, thank you for the great present, blah, 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 giving them public recognition so they look good. It makes them highly unattractive, okay? We see it a lot in our business, um, okay? I've, I've done this type of thing next that I'm going to talk about, which is really, really not nice, and I wish I hadn't been, I wish I hadn't done it, but people have, have taught me to do that, and now I'm learning otherwise. Um, for example, someone, will contact a long long friend just to prospect them so it's hey what are you doing i haven't seen you since high school how's it going seeming like they really really want to connect with them then suddenly they verbally throw up all the business opportunity all over them it's really really not nice and it's not good for your self-esteem either really so if you're going to do this kind of prospecting please be open and honest and ask them directly from the off if they're not interested fine just ask them how they are and genuinely be, number one, interested in them, okay? Hey, if, if anyone's getting any value out of this, then please show me uh, some love down below, okay? Number four, number four, project confidence. Ooh, this is a toughie, okay? Um, attractive people are confident and confident people are attractive um, again this business have you ever noticed that two people can be in marketing can follow the exact same script and get completely different results this is why scripts are nonsense they give you a good framework to develop a conversation but you cannot follow them to the T I've done this exactly I followed Fraser Brooks scripts exactly to the T. It didn't work. Why not? Well, one reason could be as Eric Warrior says, your success in this business has to do with who you are as a person before you joined. Meaning if you had great relationships with people, you was already perceived as successful and financially a successful person so talking about uh, creating financial success that will then having a bearing on whether or not you are successful in using a script okay another reason is your confidence okay so no matter what the script a person uses they'll perform it better if they have confidence and when they're portraying it and therefore they are more attractive you either are confident or you have to act it now I'm not saying fake until you make it no 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 I hate that word fake until you make it so how can you be confident when you're when you're brand new or fairly new like I am or you haven't produced many results right um, if you if you haven't read it, I, I, um, I'm just looking at what it's called, I've forgotten what it was called. If you haven't read it, I highly recommend Secrets of a Millionaire Mind by T. Harvey Ecker. Okay. Ecker talks about this concept. Be, do, have versus have, do, be. So, for example, most people think, and I was one of them, when I have the things that successful and confident, confident people have, then I can do the things that successful people do, then I'll be more confident and successful. All wrong, completely the wrong approach. 
Eka says successful people understand it's be, do, have. So, for example, I'm going to be confident and I'm going to go out and be successful. I'm going to think the way a successful person would think. That will cause me to do the things that confident people do. And when I start doing these things, I'll have the results successful and confident people have. So, if you're coming from the have, do, be mindset, like I was, you need to change this and start thinking be, do, have instead. On top of this, you need to practice. Practice, practice, practice. Get results and help other people. The more you do of these, the more confident you will become. You also need to invest in your knowledge, your skills and your education. I'm still learning and I will be passing on my learning skills, what I've educated myself in, onto you. For example, I'm still learning how to be confident, so I, I have little bullet points on my computer, which is why I keep looking to help keep me focused. But the more I do of this, the better I will get and the more knowledge I will learn and the more co and the confidence will grow and grow and grow. Okay, so that takes me on to number five. Develop your skills. Attractive people have highly developed skills. If you look at the top leaders in our professions, they're not going out promoting their opportunity. They're promoting themselves, their skills, their ability to help other people first. And this has made them very, very highly attractive. Therefore, potential prospects are attracted to them. They're like, wow, this person is so confident. They have such a great skill set, uh, great skill set uh, that they will know how to help me succeed in my business because they know X, Y, Z. So they don't care what business they're in. They just want to join because it's that person that they're joining to. They are attractive to that person or attracted to that person. Does this make sense? Uh, I would love to hear your thoughts on everything I'm saying. So please uh, drop some comments below if it is. Um, so whilst all amateurs are out there saying, hey, look at my thing, look at my product. The top earners are out there acquiring knowledge, practicing and getting better and better and better and saying, hey, listen, when you join me, and my team, I'm going to have the confidence and the skills to help you get where you want to go and succeed. That is a secret to making people want to join you over any other person in your opportunity, okay, in your business. Has this made sense to any of you? Um, has it got on? Has it given you a ha-ha moment, um, as Alan Partridge would say? I did when I first started, when I first read this, um, it gave me that eyes wide open. Wow, yes, I need to start doing this. I need to start practicing. I need to start learning. I need to become more confident. Hence, this is my first live on my, uh, my page. So here goes. <laughs> right, so here's a quick recap of the five secrets all attractive people know and know you do too so one be more interested in the other person than in yourself two don't be clingy needy or desperate for the sale it's not attractive at all three don't operate with a hidden agenda just help people without expecting anything in return number four be confidence remember be do have not have do be number five develop your skills okay so they are the top five earners so top five earners not top five earners they are the top five secrets to 
attractive people. So if you're getting any value from this or there is anyone you know who will benefit from this at all, then please pass it on, share the love. Okay, so that's it for today. See you all again soon and I hope you have a lovely, enjoyable rest of the day. Bye for now.